I'm here with Claudia from Preston. We're going to have a quick chat with her about the season so far and how it's gone. Claudia, what are your thoughts? Um, I think uh, Preston kind of had an up and down season. We started off pretty strong, but we still couldn't get any results. Um, towards the middle of the season, you know, we got a couple wins. But now, end of season, we had a bit of injuries. But we still, you know, we've got a, like a new team. So we've got a couple new girls. We had Cali Fam come in. But other than that, like, our season's been pretty good. I, I assume, doesn't matter what we are on the ladder, as long as everyone's having fun. No, I completely agree with that. And obviously, as you mentioned, the season's been riddled with injuries, so it doesn't help. And um, how do you think the team stayed together? Because those, those injuries have been there. But the one thing I've seen from Preston is you girls come and still support the club. Yeah, um, the, but one thing I love about Preston, it's a really like close club. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's really close. Like We get a couple, a couple of the men come into our games, mm -hmm. but most of the girls, they do, you know, make the time to get down to the men's games on Sunday nights but I think the really close culture in the club that they've built mm -hmm. has really kept everyone together yeah. well I can personally say that I love playing for Preston regardless of the score but yeah I think that's one of the main things yeah no, no, I completely agree and that's something that I've you know had the opportunity to see is that sort of that close-knit group and as you mentioned it's there with the men's and the women's and just everyone coming together yeah. and just looking at the season you know as you mentioned it's sort of been a bit of a rocky one Looking at next season coming up, what, what, what would you say Preston sort of needs to do sort of on the field or sort of just in general to get ready for next year? Um, well, first thing, I need to recover. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, nah, I think overall, like, we're a pretty close group even on the field. You know, mm -hmm. like I said, we've been very unlucky with some of the games, but I think our team's pretty close. So hopefully maybe we can get a couple new players, mm -hmm. but during the off-season... That's probably when we'll probably shine yeah. when everyone's back. But we do, we do our best. But Wednesday nights is always hard. Everyone's got training. It definitely yeah. is. It, yeah, definitely, especially in Melbourne with everyone getting sick and everything going around. But just touching back on that, you know, there were some really positive results to start off with. And I think just coming to the next four games, what are your thoughts going into the last couple of matches? Um, yeah, like you said, we were very unlucky at the start of the year. You know, the last four games, um, you know. We're just trying to, you know, have fun. Although we do want to win as much as we can. Like even against Carlton a couple of weeks ago, you know, we started off strong and then we ended up losing on penalties. Everyone was a bit down, but we always try to keep everyone up. Mm -hmm. Take it one week at a time and just, you know, try and have fun. Play football if we can. Yeah. We try. Futsal's a little bit different, but, you know, we just want everyone to enjoy themselves. Yeah, and I think uh, you summed it up to perfectly tonight, just talking about the culture of Preston, but I think that resemblance the culture here in futsal in general. You know, it's about just playing for each other, but just having a bit of a laugh, but also still taking it seriously and being competitive. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like I come to futsals and like everyone from every other team, we're always saying hello to each other. So the culture is really good. So yeah, no, that's great. That's absolutely brilliant. Set. Well, look, Claudia, thank you for joining us. Good. Stop getting injured. I think I've got a curse on me, but you know what? Next year I'll be back. Don't worry. <laughs> there you go. Okay, well, look, all the best with your recovery and taking the coaching side of things now. Bloody Jess, you, she bloody dumped it on me today, but you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be involved, you know. Like, if I'm not playing, coaching, like, I get the love out of it through that, so I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. I completely agree, and I, going back to what I was saying earlier, it's, you know, the girls coming down and supporting it in any way they can, and it's good to see that you're fully embracing that too. Yeah, you know, it's sad not playing, so I just try my best to be involved as much as I can, like I said before. Um, I do enjoy coaching, and the girls have taken it in really well. Even, like, Jess Halabi, she's been doing a really good job, and I'm always happy to help, so it's the least I can do. Fantastic. Well, look, thank you for joining us and having a quick chat. Thank you.